So I'm Franny hall Kishnick and I'm working with Human Rights Watch to work here and try to help in any way we can. And it's utterly overwhelming, but amazing generosity, people trying to work together. Here's the situation with what I'm holding in my hand. We have been going to Moria camp, which is hell on earth. And the sad thing is that the refugees arrive and they are terrified and they're wet and they come here and they get a little bit of food and warmth in every sense of the word and then they begin the walk they have no idea what is going to um, what they're going to find at, at Moria there are two mothers that we met and we were able um, to help them with blankets and then they asked for baby formula for their babies and we're thinking where are we going to get baby formula we're you know an hour away from the town it's dark it's about nine o'clock at night but we're thinking we've just got to find baby bottles and nipples and baby formula so we're walking down the road and one of the NGOs drives up with a, a truck of supplies. And miracle of miracles, they have baby powder and they have bottles. So we were able to go back and give them the bottles and the baby powder. The next day, we went back to see how they were doing in their tent, you know, in the olive grove amongst the thousands. And they showed us that they had no nipples. We had thought that the nipples would be turned over in the bottles, as we've experienced in our own lives. But there were no nipples, so everything was absolutely meaningless. So now I've got a bottle with a nipple. It's glass, which will be more difficult for them to carry. I only have two for this one tent, but it's like the story of the man who walks along the shore and there are starfish strewn everywhere, dying. And he walks along the shore throwing one starfish after another into the sea. And somebody comes up to him and says, what are you doing? There are too many, there are too many. It doesn't make a difference. And he says it does to this one and he throws one in the sea. So we feel as if this family, at least, will be able to have the bottles with the nipples to be able to feed their babies. It's a family of, let's see, there are at least four children plus the two babies. And I'm now going to go down to the other, to the lighthouse um, project camp down the road to see if I can get more supplies. There are endless needs, but the more we can get, the more mothers yeah, we can give. I, I it's matter. crazy how in the United States you think, all right, a bottle is going to have a nipple in it, but here they're just bottles. You have to buy everything separately and you had no idea. Yes. Well, this one comes with a nipple, so but usually they're turned upside down. So we just gave the, gave the bottles to them last night, seeing that and not checking. So now we have the bottles and we'll be able to give them to the family in about an hour and a half when we get there. Thank you.